I hope by now you have followed the instructions for the Cordova Android platform guide and then installed the Android um, SDK and the tools onto your computer. Let's proceed next to understand how we can build and deploy our app to an Android emulator. Before you proceed forward, you need to understand that when you are running your app in an emulator, it is running in a separate virtual machine running on your computer. And so if you uh, use local host to access the server on your emulator, the local host will refer to the emulator itself. Your, your server is actually running on your own computer. And so it will not be accessible as local host to the app in your Android emulator. So we need to make a minor change to the code in order to make the app understand that the emulator should access the server running on your computer. So to do that, first, find out the IP address of your computer. It's fairly straightforward to find out the IP address of your computer. Thereafter, open services.js file. And then you would notice that we had configured the base URL as HTTP double slash localhost colon 3000. We need to change that localhost to the IP address of your computer. So once you find out the IP address of your computer, make sure to change that local host and replace that with the IP address of your computer. I'm going to be doing the same to my own application, but obviously I don't want to show you my IP address, so I'm not going to show you that step on the screen. But remember that I have substituted that local host, I, or rather I am going to substitute that local host with the IP address of my computer and save the changes and then thereafter go to the next step. <clears throat> Once you have configured the IP address in your app and saved services.js file, then let's go to the terminal. Make sure that your JSON server is running and is ready to serve up the resources if it is accessed by the application. And thereafter, in your terminal, go to the folder that contains your Ionic application, the Confusion app. And then at the command prompt, we will first add the Android platform as one of the platforms for which your application should be configured. So to do that, at the command prompt, type ionic platform add Android, and then hit the return. Now, obviously I had already configured the, uh, the Android platform because I needed to carry out the test to ensure that it works correctly. So that's why the, um, when I run the command, it is informing me that the platform is already added. But if you run that on your computer, you should see a bunch of things being printed out on the screen and the Android platform getting configured for your application. After this, we are going to build our application for the Android platform. So to build the application for the Android platform, add the command prompt, type ionic, build Android and execute that command and wait for the build to be completed. Once the build is completed, you will then deploy your application to the Android emulator. To deploy your application to the Android emulator, add the command prompt, type ionic emulate Android and hit the return. It will take a while for the Android emulator to get configured and then start up. So you need to be a little bit patient for the emulator to get started. Once the emulator starts up, then your application will get deployed to the emulator and then will start running 
on the emulator. Once the application is deployed and starts up on the emulator, you should be able to see the application running on the emulator as shown here. So you can see the home page on the emulator. Then you should be able to navigate to the remaining pages. Here's the About Us page. Then we'll go to Menu. Then let's add a couple of items to our um, favorites. Let's then switch to the favorites and then you should be able to see the items in your favorites. You can also delete an item from your favorites and you can also bring up the login form and you can also bring up the reserve table form. You should be able to click and select the number of uh, um, guests, the smoking, and when you click on the date, the appropriate date chooser for the Android device will pop up on the screen. And then so let me select January 9th. So you can see that your application now gets deployed to an Android emulator. If you need to deploy to Android device, if you happen to have an Android device, you can simply connect the Android device to your computer. And instead of typing Ionic emulate Android, you would say Ionic run Android, and your app will get deployed to your device that you have connected to your computer. You should make sure that your device is uh, enabled for development. Um, how to enable your device for development uh, depends upon the specific device. You need to consult the documentation for your specific device that you are making use of. This completes the exercise. In this exercise, we have learned how to configure our application for the Android platform. We have learned how to build and deploy the application to the Android emulator.